Greetings, everyone. Well, it is a bus going by. It is Blu-ray update time again. Yes, picked up some more selections from the always awesome Scream Factory collection. Ah! So let's get right to it today on the Multimedia Chronicles. I do that for all the people who think I'm boring. Ha <laughs> ha! Alrighty, let's, uh, let's get right to it, shall we? In no particular order. First up, we picked up Deadly Blessing. Yeah. Uh, I remember seeing the, you know, postings about this when it was coming out. I've never seen the film. Most of these are ones that I've never seen. Um, in fact, they're all ones that I've never seen, but ones that I'd heard about and just never got around to checking out. So Deadly Blessing. Um, thought the artwork on the cover was really nice. Uh, I didn't realize though that this is Ernest Borgnine. Yes! Ernest Borgnine! McHale! From McHale's Navy! As a fanatical religious cult leader. Like, how awesome is that? Yeah, apparently it's a terrible film, at least according to some people I've talked to, but who cares? I don't watch these types of movies expecting high art. I watch them expecting cheesy horror fun. So, Deadly Blessing, pretty cool. And uh, as with most of the collector's editions, reversible artwork. This is the original, uh, the original cover, or the original poster art there. Very cool indeed. So, uh, and it also has uh, What's-His-Face from uh, The Hills Have Eyes and uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and uh, many, many, many other movies. Great, uh, great uh, actor. What's his name? I can't remember what his name is. Anyway, um, yeah, so in terms of extras, we've got uh, audio commentary by director Wes Craven. So this is one of his uh, pre-Nightmare on Elm Street movies. It's actually from 1981. Uh, interview with actress Susan Buckner and writers Glenn M. Benest and Matthew Barr. Uh, TV spots and theatrical trailers. So, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. So, with the uh, reversible artwork, you actually do get different pictures on the back, too. So, that's, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, so, Deadly Blessing. Let's, can we put it there? Put it there, pal! Alright, we'll put it there. Next up, we have... Now, this one I remember seeing a lot. Uh, a lot of pictures of this in Fangoria magazine and whatnot. Never... I think I might have actually seen this, but it was so long ago I don't honestly remember, so... Might as well just say I've never seen it, because uh, it'll be all new to me all over again, even if I have. We have Night of the Demons. Yeah, classic, uh, you know, sort of college party, rock and roll, horror, demon thing. Um, yeah, everybody I talk to has nothing but good things to say about this one, say it's a lot of fun and such, so uh, definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Um, there's some pictures on the back there, pretty cool. And then if we uh, slide this up, there's the original cover. So that's the picture, that's the picture that I saw a lot of all over the place uh, when the movie was, was fairly new. Uh, there we go, sorry, try to keep the glare to a minimum. So, uh, yeah, so this one actually has quite a lot of extras. We've got a new commentary with director Kevin Tenney and actors Kathy Podwell, Hal Havens, Billy Gallo, and FX artist Steve Johnson. Audio commentary with director Kevin Tenney, executive producer Walter Johnson, and producer Jeff Joffrey. I'm guessing that's a previously released commentary that they got the rights to. It's pretty cool. I have a couple on there. New interviews with cast and crew, including director Kevin Tenney, writer-producer Joe Augustin, and actress Linnea Quig Quigley. Uh, promo reel, video trailer, theatrical trailer, TV and radio spots, still galleries, and much more. So, very cool. So, yeah, not too, uh, not too shabby. I guess we'll show you the, the different pictures on the back. There you go. Don't know how well you can see that, but whatever. Watch it on a big screen and you can see it fine, I'm sure. All right, it's Night of the Demons. Next up, we got... The Fun House. You gotta love a carnival of terror because we all know how terrifying clowns are and how terrifying creepy fun houses are. Um, yeah, so again, not much I can say other than it's like another cool Scream Factory release of a movie I've never seen. Just kind of picking these up sight unseen because I trust Scream Factory's judgment. Uh, there we go. So the Fun House, and then here we have the original 
cover there. I actually remember seeing this uh, cover quite a bit too. I remember seeing the VHS release kicking around quite a bit. Uh, but again, just never got around to watching it. Um, you got to understand, I mean, in the heyday of VHS, there was so many uh, horror movies and direct-to-VHS stuff. Um, most of these got theatrical releases, but uh, uh, just so many uh, movies out there that you, you really just had such a glut of material to choose from that it was impossible to watch everything unless you were completely obsessive about it. So this one is actually directed by Toby Hooper uh, of Texas Chainsaw Massacre fame. So we have in the special features an audio commentary with director Toby Hooper, moderated by filmmaker Tim Sullivan, an interview with executive producer Mark L. Lester and composer John Beale, audio interview, uh, yeah, audio interview with actor William Finley, theatrical trailer, TV spots, and more. There you go. So the fun house. Yeah, needless to say, I'm probably going to hold off watching most of these until we get a little closer to Halloween, and then I'll do some uh, some movie reviews of them as I usually do at Halloween. Now having the uh, the camera um, a little more mobile and actually still having last year's Halloween set up, uh, should be a little easier to do a little more stuff for Halloween this year, so uh, definitely look forward to that. Next up we have The Burning. It was kind of funny when I got these, Rosie uh, got a hold of them and was just looking at the covers and she brought this one over and just said, Daddy, this is disgusting. <laughs> she was quite appalled. I'm like, well, it's a horror movie, sweetie. It's supposed to be disgusting. It's like, well, this is disgusting. She was like completely just taken aback and did not approve at all. <laughs> so we have the uh, cover there, and then the original, uh, the original uh, poster art there, of course. Quite cool. I love how they do this. So you get two covers for the price of one, which is awesome. So very cool. Again, another one that I've never seen. So I haven't seen any of these. I'll just, you know, I haven't dr drilled that point home by now. So we got uh, special features. We got audio commentary by director Tony Malam and international journalist Alan Jones. Blood and Fire Memories, theatrical trailer, and more. And that's pretty much it. So a lot of these are kind of light on extras, but uh, at least they got some stuff, so that's pretty cool. Uh, are you able to see... I don't know if I'll be able to... Well, let's move these over a little bit and we'll see if we can fit the last one in on the end there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'll be plenty plenty of room. All right. Last, but most definitely not least, uh, one of John Carpenter's few early films that I haven't seen. Uh, I've been wanting to check this out for ages. I understand it made like a, uh, a top creepy horror films of all time list in recent years and uh, stars the inimitable Donald Pleasance. Gotta love him. From 1987, we have John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. Yeah. Which uh, I've been wanting to check out for a while because he cites this as part of his so called Apocalypse trilogy. Um, what are the other two? I know The Thing is one of them. I think In the Mouth of Madness is the other one, actually. Uh, so, yeah, so this is another one of his, his apocalypse, you know, end of the world type stories. So, pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, I've never seen this, and I've been wanting to check it out for ages, and who could pass up a beautiful Shout Factory, or a beautiful Scream Factory edition like this. So we have, uh, there, and then we actually have the original cover there. Again, one that I saw lurking around on VHS for a very long time, and just never got around to checking it out. So, did I show you the back there as well? Yeah, okay. So special features, we got audio commentary with director John Carpenter, new interviews with director John Carpenter and Alice Cooper, and theatrical trailer. That's pretty much it. So we got a commentary and some interviews. So definitely light on extras, but uh, yeah, whatever. It's Prince of Darkness, and the most deluxe edition we've ever had of it too. So, so that's pretty cool. And there you go. Ta-da! So five new additions to the Scream Factory collection, all with the slip covers. As you know, I, I actively seek those out and uh, I always try to get those, especially with the uh, collector's editions here where they have different artwork. So you can actually have, you know, if you have the slip cover, you can have two covers, two completely different cover arts. Cover arts? Yes. Covers arts. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool stuff. So I'm definitely uh, going to enjoy checking those out when it gets a little closer to 
Halloween. Until then, I'm going to continue building the Scream Factory collection and adding to it. And uh, come Halloween, it's it's there's going to be so much stuff to watch. I might have to might have to double up on a few of them, do some double bills and double double bill reviews and stuff like that. Halloween this year is going to be freaking epic, fepic, yeah. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now, folks. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara. My horror shelf is buried in the back because I'm doing VHS stuff. We'll just put it on top of the sci-fi for now. Eh, that won't fit. There we go. Okay, so let's put those. Put those there. That should be fine. All right. Can you even see? Oh yeah, you can see. I I put them there. Yeah, they are. It's temporary. They will find a permanent home later when I clear away the VHS in the back. Bye.